The need for engineers capable of good design thinking is greater now more than ever. And the aim of my research is to foster innovation among engineers by improving design education. Engineers, yeah, we don't have enough of them. We need to educate more of them. You know, what we don't need are more lawyers or accountants. We actually need more engineers. For companies to be successful and continue to be more successful, particularly in these challenging times, uh, employees within companies need to be able to actually generate their own ideas. So instead of business manufacturing um, products that other people have designed, we need to be able to create indigenous ideas, indigenous designs, which will lead on to the generation of indigenous jobs, which is particular to Ireland, but it could be as equally relevant in any country around the world. In the course of the last century, the focus of engineering education has shifted from practical work to engineering science. Students would choose engineering in the first couple of years. They would do pure maths and science and chemistry to bring everyone up to the same level. And in fact, what we did was we actually hammered all the enthusiasm and creativity out of them. So by the time they actually started to do some real engineering, they were disillusioned and um, exhausted, effectively. This has resulted in engineering graduates with a sound theoretical knowledge, but a lack of experience applying that knowledge in real-world situations. And in educating engineers, I suppose one of the things that we really need uh, to build into the engineering education and to develop it even more is a strong sense not just of the pure engineering, but also of the uh, existence of markets, of money and of people um, who are part of the context for which the engineers are designing. So that puts a real burden um, onto the engineer as designer. We need to make sure that we can foster innovation and creativity within our students and within our curricula. As a result, groups like Engineers Ireland have identified a need for a change in the way that engineering is taught. Some of the drivers behind this are um, literally a call from industry uh, which states that they would like to see graduates which are more industry focused, that are more customer focused, that are able to work in cross disciplinary teams, that are, have better communication skills, and um, that are able to solve real world problems. In response to this, many universities, including Trinity College Dublin, have incorporated more practical design into their undergraduate education. These are some of the, of the projects that we have, that we're working on. Some of them are designing sustainable shelters, solar powered cookers uh, and stoves for developing nations. We have this kind of a, a catapult, it's called the Manganella, it's a Roman siege engine. So groups of four, roughly four students, four to six students would have one of these each. Uh, and they design and assemble it. And then this effectively is a vehicle to reinforce some engineering services. We're trying to identify useful projects which will allow the students to work in teams to to generate, as I said, innovation and creativity. So that sense of experiential learning outside of the classroom, across discipline boundaries, to me is a fundamental part of both business and engineering education. However, most of these courses take what I call a blank page approach to design, which is where students design products and technologies from scratch from, from a blank page. More often, or you know, for the vast majority of the time, design evolves is an evolution of a previous design or it's an amalgamation of a number of different solutions combined together in a novel way for a novel purpose. Innovation is a cumulative, iterative process. They arrive, arrive in, in a project which has already begun and they need to be able to get their head around you know, what's happened before they began to participate, understand it and then move from that point in a collaborative way to advance it. They need not just to come up with the optimal engineering solution, but they also need to design it uh, with a sensitivity to the kind of context that they're working in. The people who will interact with the design, the timelines and the budgets, the economic context into which it's, it's being put. And it's not that they would satisfy us on that design, but they certainly need uh, to be aware of that. And that's quite a burden to put on engineering education. My research project will attempt to make use of open design, which is a mechanical equivalent to open source software. Open design projects develop technology in a collaborative, open manner in which design information is shared. This could provide educators and students with valuable resources and learning materials. 
open design is really only now progressing. But from a, an educational viewpoint here, it could work very well for us because we will, we will again allow students to collaborate in groups, um, not necessarily even in the same country, uh, with a common design objective in mind. The students themselves can then contribute back to these materials which will in turn help future students. A famous example of this type of process is Wikipedia, the encyclopedia whose users generate the content. So I think an open design project for the undergraduate students would really be very, a very useful and representative way um, of the type of workplace they're going to find themselves in the future. The goal of my research is to produce graduates who can use design thinking to tackle real-world problems and make a significant contribution to Ireland's knowledge economy.